here's hand number one. I have a min raise from actually early position, yeah, like under the gun plus one, from a player that I've got playing 9-9 over 45 hands. Not really sure what to think we are. Uh, we're on the deeper side. So we're over 120, uh, maybe like 130 big blinds deep. So make a good solid uh, um, isolation raise or raise for value with pocket kings here. And he calls. It's a very, very dry flop. 2-3 uh, jack. He leads for half pot. We are deep. And I could raise for value here. But I'm just not exactly sure what to expect out of this little lead. Uh, I'm either way ahead or uh, he's either bluffing or I'm way behind. So I think if I was to raise here, I might scare a... Uh, like a one pair type hand, like a jacks, etc. Uh, like a 10 jack, queen jack, maybe even 10s, 9s, 8s, queens. Uh, if he has a draw, he might call wands, but basically I can't stand a re raise here. I, I would not be happy uh, if he was to bet 3 bet. So I end up calling. The turn is a 7, which brings a draw out there. There's still no straights. Uh, but now there's a flush draw and some straight draws and he pots it and I'm not exactly sure what this means but I am going to just play my hand for value here and end up flatting so if I was ahead on the flop unless he has pocket sevens and now hit a set I'm still gonna be ahead I still don't see a lot of value in raising for the same reasons that I didn't raise on the flop. So I end up flatting here. And the river is a 4 and he shoves. So he shoves for about 80 big blinds into a 108 big blind pot. I'm getting about, well I'm getting 30% odds. So unless he has a hand like 5-6 where he had a gutter on the flop and then bet twice and now spiked it or ace-5 like an ace-5 of spades that turned a flush draw and now has a now has a uh, flush I, I just don't really know what to think of this but given that I have very few hands on the guy I only have 45 hands and his aggression factor is infinite so over those 45 hands. Uh, I'm just gonna play my hand for value and I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna call. So he shows the nines. No idea what was going through his head. I don't know if he was... He must have been bluffing on the river because um, to shove second pair on that river I mean, I have no idea, but but he, his hand has showdown value, and he can't possibly expect me to pay off with worse. So, not sure what to think, but I'll, I'll take the pot. 